Hello all, welcome back to the channel. One of my favorite things with the bird hobby is when you are able to share it with others. And today we are visiting one of my friends, a bird keeper also from Denmark, to learn how he keeps and breeds his birds, being mainly softbills and pigeons. Welcome to my garden. I have uh, 11 aviaries here. And uh, the principles behind my, my way of keeping birds is basically that I have uh, pairs individually one pair of relatively large softbills in each aviary combined with different species of doves and quails. So the idea here is basically that I spend quite some time to uh, adjust how they behave together, I mean putting them together, so there's some kind of harmony. Normally, I mean, if I have two pairs of softbills, I'm quite careful that some of them are using the upper part of the aviary or some uh, in the middle. For instance, I have bulbuls and sunbirds together, uh, and they they do very well together and and the idea here is that they are kept outside all year round Danish winters are normally that not not very cold minus five degrees some periods it can be down to minus 10 but in reality they are sheltered in the back they can uh, fly in the back of the aviary so there's a little uh, uh, black uh, wooden plate uh, pl plywood in the back where they sit during the winter time. So they're sheltered from rain and from uh, direct wind. And they have been outside many of these birds for yeah, five, six, seven years uh, without uh, any problems. So the big challenge here, that is basically to keep the water clean as always. Um, I have uh, water here. And uh, in particular with the doves, it's a, 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 a problem that they basically shit in the water. So I have to change the water several times daily. Uh, and that's probably one of the reasons why they sometimes get sick. With respect to how to feed them, I mean, there's many places to feed. I mean, 11 places I've developed a system where I basically feed them on the backside of the aviary. If we go out over here. The principle here is I have uh, developed these tubes or made these tubes in plastic. And then in the tubes, I have some trays, laboratory trays here in plastic, where I feed them uh, daily. And in reality, I have a double set, so I can take them in, I collect all the trays, then I bring them into my bird kitchen, and then I, I clean it and uh, refeed them. And that's uh, quite easy and uh, save a lot of time. And the main thing here is also that I can actually have, uh, have it very clean. Here you can see the backside of the of the shelter part. If you look in here, there's uh, I mean they're basically sitting in there, so they can go under the roof and sit uh, on these uh, perches uh, up below there. And in the winter time, I normally remove all the perches in the outside of the area, so they're kind of forced to go in. In here, I have my breeding pairs of. Uh, uh, Fenderdeten, Hornbill or Toku, and they have just uh, raised two chicks that I can show you later inside. And they are outside here only in the summertime. That's one of the few birds that I take in because they are, the toes of them are very sensitive to uh, sub zero temperatures, so they need to go in. But they are very motivated to breed again, but uh, it's too late. The, the breeding biology is pretty interesting. The female was. Uh, inside the box first of june and then the male seals the opening of the the bo next box so there's only a tiny hole and then the female stays in there with the eggs and the chicks for 10 weeks and the male feeds uh, the females through this little hole in the, in the box opening and then uh, after 12 weeks the chicks came come out and they look exactly like the parents so they've been in there so she's been in there with the, ch the children for three months and, and the interesting part is also that she changed all her feathers. I looked in in the middle and she has absolutely no feathers. So she loses all feathers and when she's out, she's, she's just uh, nice and beautiful. They're pretty upset now because they want to breed again, but that's not going to happen. That's also kind of an experiment. These Namakua doves, I breed them in a colony with three pairs and then they breed much better than when they are alone. So they actually raised nine squat, squats this summer. So 
and they are outside year round also, but they are pretty chilled in the winter time. As you can see in this video, Torkel has lots of different birds and lots of knowledge on them as well. Luckily, he has already approved that we can come back and get some more knowledge on the breeding of different kinds of species. I look forward to sharing that with you soon. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments to this video or the bird species shown herein, please let us know in the comment sections below and we will be happy to answer it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye bye.